Welcome to your full body Pilates workout. Today we are toning and sculpting the entire body and we'll be using a light pair of weights. I'm using a set of 1 kg or 2.2 pound weights here, but you can also use lighter or a bit heavier ones, but just make sure they're not too heavy because you still want to maintain proper form. Now, if you don't have any weights at home, you can use water bottles instead or just follow along without any equipment because you will feel a good burn anyways. All right, now when you're ready, come into a tabletop position on your mat and on your next deep inhale, drop the belly down and lift through your chest, come into your cow pose and exhale, rounding through the spine, press the mat away from you and tuck the chin in. And just continue in your own rhythm, warming up the spine and taking this opportunity to connect to your body and to your breath. And now let's include a little movement of the hips. Every time you inhale and arch the back, slowly drop the hips down towards your heels. And then start to round the spine, tuck your chin in and slowly shift your weight forwards and up. And repeat, inhale, drop the belly down, lift the chest, move the hips back to your heels and exhale round slowly moving forward finding some gentle spinal rolls in our cat and cow movement feel free to close the eyes here and just do what feels best to you and your body today beautiful let's do one more deep inhale and exhale come back to neutral draw the navel up to the spine hands are underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips from here extend your right leg out to the side right foot in line with the left knee and turn your toes to face the ceiling on your next deep inhale lift and reach the right arm up towards the ceiling or sky and on your exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. And repeat. Inhale, open, really open through your chest, look up. And exhale, lower the arm down. Beautiful, one more deep inhale. And exhale. And now take a deep inhale, reach the right arm up one more time. And exhale, place the right hand down, move the right knee in and switch sides. Extend the left leg out to the side, toes are pointing up, weight is in your right hand and then inhale, lift the left arm up open, exhale, thread it down, beautiful, two more, inhale deeply and exhale, lower, one more. Beautiful. And now let's take one more deep inhale, open your chest and exhale, place the left hand down and move the left knee in. And now when you're ready, shift your hips back to your heels, come into your kneeling position, keeping your spine upright. And now interlace the fingers, press the palms away from you, extend the arms and lift them all the way up, finding the length here, open through your chest. And on your exhale, rounding through the spine, lower your head down, move the arms forward and repeat. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. And now lift yourself back up, finding a straight spine. Reach your arms up even further. Inhale and exhale. Take a gentle side stretch to the right. Inhale, slowly come back to center and switch to the other side. Really opening here through the side of your body. And then come back to center. Bring your hands forward, tuck your toes under and slowly lift yourself up 
into your downward facing dog, allowing the chest to melt down towards the ground, keeping your spine nice and long and maybe your knees bent if you need to. And now you can start to walk out your dog by bending one knee at a time. This is a wonderful way to release any tension in the back of your legs. Keep pressing the mat away from you with your hands. Always keep a slight micro bend through your elbows. Beautiful. And now finding some stillness in your downward facing dog. Take one more deep in and exhale. And then slowly bend your knees and carefully walk your hands to your feet. Keep your knees bent, relax your head. And with time, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll yourself all the way up towards standing. Your head is the last to come up. Now roll your shoulders back. And take a deep inhale, lift and reach your arms up, open your chest. And exhale, dive it all the way down. And start to walk your hands forward, finding your high plank position. Hands are underneath the shoulders, one straight line with your body. Hold for one breath. And then start to bend your knees, walk your hands back and roll yourself back up to standing. Let's repeat this two more times to really warm up the entire body. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, dive it down and walk your hands forward. Keeping your core nice and tight throughout this movement. And then walk your hands back to your feet and roll yourself up towards standing really good and now let's do one more inhale lift the arms up open your chest here and exhale round your spine dive it down walk your hands forward holding here for one deep breath keeping your spine and neck neutral and now walk your hands back and roll yourself up. Really take your time here. Your head is the last to come up. Roll the shoulders back and away from the ears. And now I hope you're feeling nice and warm for the upcoming workout. Take a moment here to fix your hair if you need to. And then when you're ready, grab your weights and let's get ready for some lunges. We will start by taking a big step back with the left foot. Your toes are pointing forwards and your hips are in one straight line. So move the right hip back a little bit and the left hip forward. To start out, keep your legs and arms extended, palms are facing forwards. And now on your inhale, bend your knees and your elbows, lower down and come into your bicep curl. And exhale, extend the legs and the elbows and repeat. Inhale, lower, bend. And exhale, lift and extend. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Beautiful. Just keep going here in your own rhythm. Really move and work with your breath. Making sure you keep your chest nice and open throughout this exercise and your shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. And now let's do three more. And two. And now on your last one, keep your hips down low, your knees are bent, spine is straight. And then extend your arms forward, hands in line with the shoulders, palms facing to each other. On your inhale, open your chest and reach the right arm back. Exhale, move it forward in line with the shoulder. Repeat. Inhale when you open the arm as much as you can. And exhale, close. This is a wonderful exercise that works our balance and improves our strength. So just move slowly here, move with your breath. 
really good and let's do two more keeping your hips nice and low and looking to your right hand if possible if you move the arm back and one more inhale open and exhale close really good and now let's continue with our first movement come into your bicep curl inhale lower and exhale lift beautiful just keep going here in your own rhythm and really press into your right heel when you lift yourself back up keeping the engagement in your legs and glutes at all times let's do four more and three two and now on your last one keep your hips nice and low and extend your arms all the way up and now let's get ready to pulse it out for 10 9 8 7 6 keep breathing here 5 4 3 2 1 and let's do 10 more 10 9 8 7 6 you can do it 5 4 3 two one and now keep your right knee bent and lean your upper body forward extend the left leg one straight line with your body take a deep inhale here and exhale bend the elbow squeeze your shoulder blades together repeat inhale extend and exhale move the elbows to your body keep most of your weight in your right heel Feeling the engagement and the burn in your glutes. Inhale, reach and exhale, bend. Really good. Keeping your spine and neck neutral, gazing down to the front edge of your mat. And we have four more. And three. Two more. Last one. And now keep your elbows bent but lower them down and really press them into the side of your body. Moving on with our tricep curls. Inhale to prepare and exhale extend the arms keeping them close to your body. Inhale bent and exhale extend. Really good. Keep going. Your palms are facing towards each other. Really engaging through your triceps every time you extend the arms. And keep leaning your upper body forward, weight is still in your right heel. And three more, two, last one. Now keep your arms extended, turn your palms back and let's pulse it out. Move the arms up and down and lift, lift, keep breathing. Last three, two, one. And then lower the arms down, step your left foot forward and take a moment here to shake out your legs before we move on with our deadlift exercise. Now stand with your feet about hip width distance and keep your chest open at all times. And on your inhale, bend your knees and shift your weight back into your heels, move the hips back and lower the arms down as much as you can but keep your spine and neck neutral and on your exhale lift yourself up extend your legs and really squeeze your glutes at the top and repeat inhale lower down keep your spine long and exhale lift and squeeze your glutes keep going here in your own rhythm and since we are using light weights here, you really want to make it yourself as hard as you possibly can. So always keep the engagement in your hamstrings, in your glutes. Try to engage them as much as you can. And now let's do two more. And now on your last strap, keep your knees bent, send your hips back and your spine is straight. Turn your palms to face each other 
and on your next inhale open your arms out wide to the side into your lateral raise and exhale slowly lower inhale open and exhale lower keeping a bend through your elbows lift and lower the arms with control never lose the engagement always keep that mind muscle connection we have four more here and three making sure your weight is mostly in your heels send your hips back two more and on your last one open your arms out to the side and let's pulse it out for 10 9 8 really squeeze those shoulder blades together 6 5 4 3 2 and one hold and then carefully lower the arms down extend your legs and come up to standing really good job and now let's do it on the other side starting with the lunge series step your right foot back this time hips are in one straight line toes are pointing forwards extend your arms and legs palms are facing forwards and when you're ready inhale lower down bend exhale lift and extend repeat lower and lift lower and lift really good and every time you come into your bicep curl try to squeeze your palms as close to your shoulders as you can we have four more and three two more and last one keep your hips nice and low and extend your arms forward parallel to the ground palms are facing each other and now take a deep inhale open your left arm out to the side look to your left hand exhale bring it forward five more here inhale open looking back to your hand exhale forward lower your hips down a little bit more keep working here with your breath beautiful job we have two more and last one inhale open and exhale close really good and now coming back into our bicep curl lunges exhale extend and lift inhale bent and curl lift and lower driving up through your left heel keeping the engagement in your lower body at all times it's really important that we never lose the engagement you want to make it yourself as hard as you possibly can let's do three more here and two and last one keep your hips nice and low and you know what's coming extend your arms up and let's pulse it out 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and we have 10 more 9 8 7 you can do it push through it 5 four three two and one really good from here shift your weight into your left foot extend your right leg your spine is straight your arms are long take a deep inhale here and exhale bend the elbows squeeze the shoulder blades together inhale extend and exhale bend keep going here inhale lift and exhale squeeze really good job should already feel a nice burn here through your glutes as well 
and we are working the upper body at the same time. Inhale, extend and exhale, bend. Let's do two more. And now last one. From here, lower the elbows down close to your body. Inhale, exhale, extend the arms back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Working the triceps here. Your palms are facing towards each other. Feeling the engagement in your triceps every time you extend the arms. And we have four more. Three. Two. And last one. Keep your arms extended. Turn your palms back and pulse it out for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. And then release. Step your foot forward. Maybe shake out your legs if you need to. And then drop one way down for the next exercise. And now, if you're ready, come to the center of your mat. Bring your feet in a wide stance. Feet are turning to the edges of your mat and extend your right arm out to the side. On your inhale, lower down, come into your sumo squat, but keep your spine straight. And exhale, push yourself up and extend the left arm up, shoulder press. Inhale, lower and exhale, lift and reach the left arm up. Keep going, lower and lift, lower and lift really good always make sure you keep your spine nice and straight pressing the left arm up through your shoulder moving with lots of control here keeping your core engaged at all times pulling the navel in and up to the spine And now from here, let's pick up the pace. Let's go a little bit faster. Inhale, lower squat. Exhale, lift and extend the arm. Really good. Lower and lift. Beautiful. And now we have three more. And two. Last one. Well done. And now bring your weight into your other hand and let's switch sides. Extend the left arm out. And when you're ready, inhale lower into your sumo squat. And exhale, extend the legs and the right arm up. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Beautiful. Keep going here. Moving with your breath and in your own rhythm. Make sure your chest stays open, your spine is straight. Opening out your knees to the side and when you squat down, weight is mostly in your heels. Really good. And now from here, let's pick up the pace. Let's go a little bit faster, moving with lots of power here. Lower and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep going. And last three. You can do it. And two more. One. Really good job. Now drop the weight down. We are done with the standing part of the workout. You can take a sip of water here if you need to or come into a gentle child's pose to take a few deep breaths. Just take a moment here to catch your breath because you really, really deserve it. That was a quite intense first part of the workout, I have to admit. And now let's take one more deep breath 
and when you're ready slowly lift your upper body up and grab your weights and come into a kneeling position lift your hips up bring your knees about hip width distance spine is straight and now on your next deep inhale start to lean your upper body back and extend your arms forward parallel to the ground and exhale shift your weight forward and lower the arms inhale lift and lean back exhale move forward and lower the arms moving here with lots of control core is engaged you will feel this a lot in your hip flexor muscles making sure your shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears and have a little micro bend in your elbows let's do two more and last one inhale lean back and exhale come forward but keep your arms lifted and extend them out to the side I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better keep your arms parallel to the ground and start to lower the arms on your inhale and exhale lift them up coming into your lateral raise just as we did before keep your elbows slightly bent your core is engaged your chest is open and your spine is nice and long we have three more here moving up and down with control and two last one now keep your arms lifted and start to flip the palms up and back just keep breathing deeply here moving the palms up and down and back up and back try to not lower the arms keep them in line with the shoulders but also keep a slight micro bend here through your elbows I know it burns we only have two more and last one really good and now inhale keep your arms out wide and exhale bend your elbows and move your hands and weights towards your shoulders repeat inhale extend and exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend always keeping the engagement in your arms in your shoulders you're doing such a great job extend and bend beautiful we have two more and last one really good and now cactus out your arms hands in line with the elbow elbow in line with the shoulder on your exhale press your elbows and palms together inhale open and exhale lift the arms lower press open and lift beautiful inhale when you lower exhale when you press inhale when you open and exhale when you lift really good job keep going here when you press your elbows and hands together make sure your upper arms are parallel to the ground let's do three more and two last one beautiful and now keep pressing your palms and shoulders together press them together as much as you can and start to lift up and lower lift and lower you will really feel this in your chest muscles lift and lift for three two one beautiful open your arms out to the side extend your arms all the way up take a deep inhale here to prepare and exhale bend the elbows squeeze the shoulder blades together inhale extend exhale bend and squeeze the shoulder blades together repeat really moving here with your breath inhale lift exhale lower 
still making sure your core is engaged, always think about drawing the navel in and up to the spine. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. And now to finish off this upper body set, extend your arms out wide and just hold here for a few more breaths, keeping them parallel to the ground. You can do it for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower them down. Great job. And now you can drop one way down. Come into your tabletop position and bring your weight into your right hand. Engage your core, keep your spine straight. And when you're ready, extend your left leg out wide and lift it up in line with your body. And now when you're ready, shift your weight into your left hand and curl the right arm up, elbow close to your body. Extend the right arm all the way back, hold your balance. Bend the elbow and lower. Let's repeat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Really good. Keep going here. Inhale, curl. Exhale, extend. Inhale, curl. And exhale, lower. Keeping a slight micro bend through your left elbow to protect the joint. Holding your balance. Working with your breath. Really good. Let's do two more. And last one. And now keep your arm extended and let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now move the arm all the way forward in line with your body and just hold here for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. And then drop the weight out for a moment and come on down onto your forearms, but keep the left leg extended. So just hold this position. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see me a little bit better. Elbows are underneath the shoulders, left leg is lifted. And from here, move the left leg out to the left side and start to lower the leg on your inhale and lift on your exhale. Inhale, lower and exhale, lift. Make the leg as long as you can, lengthen all the way through your left toes. Let's do three more here and two last one and now keep the leg lifted move it back to center in line with the body and repeat with the leg lifts inhale when you lower and exhale when you lift always keep the engagement in the back of your legs in your glutes squeeze your glutes at the top and keep the engagement all the way down we have three more here and two last one keep the leg lifted and move it all the way to the right side and continue lower and lift staying strong in your upper body keep pressing no matter away from you with your forearms keep lengthening through your toes we have four more and three two last one and now move into your rainbows move the leg all the way up and over towards the left lift it up to the right and now tuck the toes under and press into those forearms and move the right knee to the chest and repeat rainbow circle to the left and the right tuck your toes under and this time move the knee in twice beautiful repeat Lift the leg up, over, tuck the toes under, and now move the knee in three times. Exhale, lift, and lift. Beautiful. Keep going here. And this time, move the knee in four times, and exhale, two, one, 
and lower the knee down and continue. We only have two more rounds. Now lift the knee to the chest five times. And four, three, two, one. Drop the knee down. Let's do one more round. Really good. You can do it for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's do one more rainbow circle and then bring the leg back to center. Hold for one more breath. And when you're ready, lower the leg down, send your hips back to your heels and take a well-deserved child's pose. And then slowly lift yourself back up. Put your weight into your left hand and come into your tabletop position. Extend your right leg out this time and lift it up in line with the body. And let's begin tricep curl with the left arm. Keep the elbow close to your body. Extend your arm back, curl and lower. Inhale, curl. Exhale, extend. Inhale, curl. Exhale, lower. Just keep going here. And as always, you can move in your own rhythm. You don't have to move in the same pace that I do. Just find a rhythm that works best for you. And now let's do four more. And three. Keep pressing the mat away from you with your right hand. Two more. And last one. Keep your arm extended. And let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now extend your left arm forward in line with the body and just hold here. Core is engaged for five, four, three, two, one, and then drop the weight down. Come on down onto your forearms, elbows are underneath the shoulders, keep your right leg extended. And again, I'm just gonna turn to the other side so you can see me a little bit better. And now move the right foot out to the right side and start with the leg lifts. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keeping your spine and neck neutral, Work with your breath. Three more. And two. Last one. Beautiful. Move the leg back to center in line with the body and continue. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep lengthening here through your right toes. Keep pressing the mat away from you with your forearms. Beautiful job. Let's do three more here. And two. Last one. Keep the leg lifted and move it all the way to the left side and continue. Lift and lower. We are working different areas of our glutes here. Such a great exercise for the back of your legs. Let's do three more and two. Last one. Beautiful. From here, let's move into the rainbow circles. Tap the right side, lift to the left, tuck your toes and move the left knee to the chest. Repeat. Rainbow circle to the right, lift to the left and move the knee in twice. Just keep going here in your own rhythm. And again, moving with lots of power and control here. Move the knee in three times this time. And now four, three, two, one. Lower the knee down. Rainbow circle, we have two more rounds. I know you can do it. 
Exhale out fully when you pull the knee in closer to the chest. Five times this time. And let's move into our last round. Four, six, and five, four, three, two, one. And lift the right leg up one more time. Hold and squeeze for one more deep breath. And then slowly lower down, tuck your toes under and send your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Well done! Now before we close this workout with a really strong ab finisher, we have a gentle stretch. So lift the left leg up into your three-legged dog, inhale and exhale. Step the left foot to the outside of your left hand, finding your lizard pose and drop the right knee down to the ground. And now you can either just stay here in this pose, breathe deeply, or if you want, you can come onto the outside of your left foot, allow the left knee to fall to the side. And another variation is to press your left knee or your left thigh away from you to really go deep into those glute muscles. Just enjoying the stretch, taking a few deep breaths. And when you're ready, come back to your center. Lift the right leg, step your left foot back, come into your downward facing dog and let's switch sides. Inhale deeply, lift the right leg up and exhale. Step the foot to the outside of your right hand this time. Drop the left knee down to the ground. And now find a variation that works best for you. Either stay here or allow the right knee to fall to the side to go even deeper. Maybe even pressing your right thigh away from you, opening here through the chest. Enjoying the steep stretch. And now let's take one more deep breath. And when you're ready, place both hands down to the ground, tuck the back toes under and step your right foot back into your downward facing dog. Maybe take a moment here to walk out your dog Release any tension through the back of your legs. Beautiful. And now drop your knees down, grab your weights and move to the top of your mat into an upright seated position. Extend your legs out wide. Toes are pointed. Grab your weights and sit up nice and tall. When you're ready, extend your arms out forward, parallel to the ground, keep a slight micro bend through your elbows. Inhale to prepare and on your exhale, tuck the pelvis under, come into your C curve, hold and inhale, lift yourself up with a straight spine, repeat, exhale, curl, really pulling the abdominals in and up and inhale, lift. Exhale, curl, moving the hips closer to the ribs and inhale, lengthen. Let's do two more. And now on your last one, exhale, curl. And now carefully lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Keep your arms extended and let's continue with some roll-ups. Inhale to prepare, exhale, peel yourself off the mat and lift your arms up, find length in your spine. And when you're ready, exhale, curl and roll yourself all the way down to the ground. Beautiful, repeat. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift, using the strength of your core to lift yourself up 
Inhale, open the chest, lift the arms. And exhale, lower yourself down. Really good job. And now let's do one more. And now exhale around your spine and find your way down onto your mat. Release your head back, keep your arms extended and then bend your knees and walk your feet in. Start to imprint your spine, press your lower back down into the ground and lift your legs up into a tabletop pose. Now turn your hands so your palms are facing each other and on your next inhale, extend the right leg forward and the left arm back. Exhale, move it back to center. Repeat. Inhale, extend the left leg and the right arm. Exhale, back to center and switch sides. Keep going here, moving in your own rhythm, always pressing your lower back down into the ground. And keep your elbows a little bit bent when you move the arms overhead. Really good. Inhale, extend and exhale, center. And last two. And one. Beautiful. From here, lower your arms down by your side. Lift your head and shoulder blades up and turn your hands so your palms are facing down. Let's get ready to pulse it out. Lift the upper body and lower down. Tiny little movements. Lift and lift. Working with your breath. Exhale out fully through the mouth. For three, two, one. And then turn your hands so your palms are facing each other. Slide micro bend through your elbows and start to tap the ground with your toes. Keep your shoulder blades away from the mat. Your chin is slightly tucked in. And let's start to lift your arms overhead on your inhale and lower them down on your exhale. Keep tapping the ground with your toes. Inhale, lift your arms and exhale, lower. Really good. Keep pressing your lower back down into the ground. You can do it. Only have a few more exercises left. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. One more deep inhale. Reach the arms up. Exhale, lower. Bring your legs up into a tabletop position. Turn your palms down. And let's pulse it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold. And then carefully drop your weights down. Let's finish with two more exercises. Come into your single leg stretch, pull the right knee in. Double exhale, inhale, switch, hug the left knee in. Keep going. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Staying lifted through your chest. Keep breathing deeply, keep lengthening through your toes, and three, two, one. From here, bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Let's finish with crisscross. Right elbow to your left knee, left elbow to your right knee. Really good. This is the last exercise. We only have a few more seconds. Let's push through for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Hug your knees into your chest. Release your head back. And let's take a moment here to catch your breath. You did such a great job. It was a really powerful and intense workout and you can be so proud of yourself. And now our muscles really deserve a gentle stretch. So hug your left knee into your chest and extend your right leg. Taking long and deep in and exhales. Allow your breath 
to flow naturally and slowly, no need to control or force anything. And when you're ready, hold onto your left big toe with your left hand and open the left knee to the left side and extend your right arm out to the right side. Coming into your half happy baby pose, keeping your right hip grounded, breathing deeply here, enjoying the stretch. Beautiful. And then bring your left knee in to the chest. And now extend your left arm out to the side. Move the left knee up and over to the right and find your spinal twist. Making sure that your shoulder blades stay grounded, keeping your gaze up or look to your left hand. And now turn your head to the other side and when you're ready move on to your belly keep your left knee bent keep the knee in line with the hip and the foot in line with the knee your left toes are flexed come onto your forearms taking a few deep breaths in your half frog pose and you can either stay on your forearms or lower your head down, make a pillow with your hands and just relax in this posture. Do whatever feels best for you. And then slowly lift yourself back up onto your forearms. And then try to transition back into your spinal twist. Hold for one deep breath. And then slowly come back to center. And let's switch sides. Hug your right knee in. Extend your left leg. Hold here for two deep breaths. Enjoying the stretch. And then hold into your right toe. Open your knee and foot to the side and extend your left arm to the left side. Pressing your left hip down, keeping it on the ground. And then slowly bring your right knee to the chest and come into your spinal twist on the other side. And your knee does not have to touch the ground. It's more important that your shoulder blades stay grounded. And when you're ready, turn your head to the left side and turn all the way onto your belly. Keep your right knee bent, left leg extended, right knee in line with the hip and in line with the foot. Keeping your toes flexed to protect the joint. And stay on your forearm or lower your upper body down, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Taking a few deep breaths in your half frog pose, just releasing any tension through your legs, through your hips. And when you're ready, transition back into your spinal twist. Hold for one more breath. And then come back to your center. 
Hug your knees into your chest. And then lower your feet down to the ground, hip width distance. Take a deep inhale here to prepare and exhale vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll yourself up into your bridge position, interlace the fingers. Really lift those hips up, open here through your chest, through the front side of your body. Take a few deep breaths here. Beautiful. And then slowly release the hands and carefully roll yourself down to the ground. And now hug your knees into your chest one more time. Lift your head and give yourself a well-deserved hug. Show yourself some self-love. And then roll yourself up. Come into an upright seated position on your mat with your knees bent in front of you. Hold into the back of your thighs. Let's take a deep inhale. Open your chest. And exhale round, tucking the chin in two more inhale open and exhale round and one more inhale and exhale beautiful come back up with a straight spine cross your legs and find an easy cross-legged position on your mat Keep your spine nice and straight, interlace the fingers, press the palms away from you. Reach your arms all the way up, finding the length here. And on your exhale, lean all the way to the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale, center. And exhale, release the hands. Take one more gentle side stretch to the right, right palm down and left hand behind your head, elbow wide. Inhale here, open your chest to the sky as much as you can and exhale lower. Move the left elbow towards the ground. Two more, inhale open and exhale lower. Beautiful, one more, inhale and exhale. Coming back to center, take one more deep inhale, lift yourself up and exhale, bend to the other side. Keep your left palm down on the ground, right hand behind your head and let's repeat. Inhale open and exhale round, move the right elbow down towards the ground. Two more, inhale and exhale last one beautiful and now come back up to center keeping your spine straight and let's finish with some gentle neck rolls just to release any tension in your neck moving your head to one shoulder Drop the chin down and move the head to the other side. Now let's take one more deep inhale and exhale. Bring your head back to center. And let's take a moment here to thank yourself for doing this workout. And I would love to thank you for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more Pilates videos with weights, let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel for more Pilates workouts. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. See you soon.